And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some more mono black zombies. Last time we played this deck, it was a lot of fun. And we went 5-0, it was incredible. Uh, you know, just things worked out for us pretty well. We played three Esper Control opponents in a, ro in a row at the end and beat them all and it was a lot of fun. And that's kind of like the, the decks we want to play, like Esper Control, uh, the control decks are really what we want to be playing against. I think we played four control decks, so it, it worked out for us. We do not want to face like mono red and chain whirlers and stuff like that. That's not what we really want to face because we're just a slower deck there. But let's see if it works out again. Um, basically, we're a Liliana Untouched by Death deck. You know, we're uh, being an aggro deck that we're trying to get some damage in and then finish people off with Liliana being able to tick up and make the opponent lose two life, gain two life. You know, do that a few times and we'll end games quickly, especially when sometimes you mill over Creeping Chills. Creeping Chill has been really, really nice for us. We have been uh, killing people, like, whenever we're about to, uh, like, our opponent's, like, about to stabilize or they do stabilize and they're at three and then we kill them with Creeping Chill. It's been happening quite a bit here the last two times we played this deck. So... Yeah, I'm excited to play this deck again. It's it's just fun, you know, like want to draw a lot of Lilianas and hopefully we curve out into Liliana. Let's let's get it. All right, mono black zombies. How Gomez says, how many pieces do you think this deck needs to be a tier deck? Uh, quite a quite a bit like I, you know that'd have to be like different cards printed it's not like cards in the format but it would need to be able to beat other aggro decks and it's really hard to beat other aggro decks with the black aggro cards right now like they're just not not good on defense uh, not good against burn spells kind of thing No, I've never gone up against a mill deck with this. I haven't gone up against a mill deck basically ever. Like, I play mill decks probably less than, like, 1% of the time. So it kept our hand because we have one drop, two drop. Hoping to draw into our Liliana here. So black white control could certainly mean main deck cry the carnarium, which would be brutal. Traveler's amulet. Usually, a black white control deck is, you know, based a lot around life gain. So now we are now we are Mardu. That's a good card to draw. All right, I'm getting the Gruel Stompy deck up on Stream Decker. That's all this typing. don't know very much about their deck. Usually, I can kind of treat it just like an Esper Control deck. Hey, what's up, Sway? So I could treat, like I said, I could treat it like it's a normal control deck and and everything, but I don't know. It doesn't really seem like our opponent's doing a whole lot. I'm going to play Duress instead of Supplier. I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Tra Traveler's Amulet is strange. They look to be like an Artifact Matters deck, maybe with Karn. Double Creeping Chill in hand. That is not ideal. 
but we do have turn two, like we have a good a good first two turns. You know, we have one drop and then one drop drill bit. So our first two turns are awesome. So went ahead and kept the hand. Even though it's, it's, it's not really a mold of five, but it kind of is. But eventually we'll start getting like these lightning helixes just to cast. All right, so Phoenix. I could just, I guess I could let them cannonade and take the Phoenix. Like a Zoe with a deck donation. Saying, hey, talk, can you play this deck sometime? Absolutely can. Any particular time you'd like me to play it? Let's see what we got here. Marty Humans. Alright, so they so here comes Phoenix. Let's just go ahead and do that. We actually played a Marty Humans. It's actually really similar. You know, we just played a Marty Humans, I think, yesterday. So it's similar, but you know, different. We got Benelish Marshall in here. Here's the, the Marty Humans list, I guess, for somebody asking in chat. If anybody's asking in chat. Oh, okay. So, okay, there you go. Yeah, so you kept... Okay, so you kept it two-color, except for just for Judith and Mortify. And then Freebooter in the board. All right, let's see. What do we got? Trove of Temptation. So, Trova Temptation says that we have to attack. So, we'll just go ahead and attack with both our creatures. They can kill the Diagraph Ghoul. Oh, I like them blocking Gutter Bones. But yeah, they, they block Ghoul. We'll just get another Ghoul with the Graveyard Marshal. Huh. They're playing green also? Weren't they playing white before? Yeah, they were playing white. So this is a four color deck. <laughs> We've played against plenty of blue decks as well, and Phil. I was hoping this is the one that like deals him too, but it does not. They put Gaia's Blessing into their graveyard so they can reshuffle. I suppose that's kind of cool. Ooh, Death Baron's good. All right, we'll get him down to three. Just need to draw another one of those creeping chills. There's the planes. Whoa. Star of Extinction. All right, creeping chill. Nope.
You can only exile these if they're put into our graveyard from our library. Alright, shuffle that back in. Shuffle it up. So Liliana or Creeping Chill? Those are the two cards that we want to see the most. Oh, it could be True Fire Captain with Star of Extinction. Absolutely. Could also be Revel and Riches. Okay, Girl Stompy's up, ready to go. All right, and looks like our opponent may need to chill out. Found it, creeping chill, MVP. Bet y'all didn't think you'd hear that in standard. But creeping chill gets the job done yet again. Mono black zombies is one and zero. Oh. All right, so Marty humans. I'll get some Marty humans tomorrow. All right, we have one chill in hand. Let me write this down. Or honestly, honestly, I may save the Marty, Marty humans for Monday. We'll see. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely write it down and make sure I get to it. Cool, thank you. Thank you, Zoe. Either tomorrow or Monday. But right now it's down. Alright, so we got Marty Humans. Yeah, I usually stream on Sundays. This upcoming Sunday is going to be an exception. I won't be streaming this upcoming s Sunday. Uh, I have like a, a, found, a fantasy baseball league uh, drafts to be doing and everything. Um, so I'm going to be taking Sunday off. Monday is going to be another 12 hour stream for celebrating getting to the 2000 YouTube subscribers. So we'll be doing that on Monday. So, uh, I'll be fresh and ready to go on Monday. No, you, oh, no need to apologize. Yeah. The fancy baseball auction drafts are awesome. Love it. They're so much fun. So I feel like my opponent's waiting up for their cast down on a death. Like, I feel like they want to cast down Death Baron here. I'm going to play this Midnight Reaper. I, I could see them having Ritual of Soot as well. So I want Midnight Reaper in case of a Ritual of Soot. The Texas Rangers are my favorite MLB team. They are unfortunately not very good these days, but that's my team. I think this Creeping Chill is going to kill my opponent. So, I don't know. They block Midnight Reaper, and they take seven and go to five. Maybe they don't actually attack with Midnight Reaper. Alright, they still go to five. I don't have to worry about Ritual of Soot. You know, not getting any cards off of Ritual of Soot. Alright, so they definitely have Ritual of Soot. Do we get to draw four? Go to twelve? 
What? Cry of the Carnarium? Are you kidding me? What kind of shenanigans is that? Cry of the Carnarium? Main deck? When Creeping Chill is put into your graveyard from your library. No, if you discard it. Discarding a card is not going into your graveyard from your library. So no. Alright, we still got this. If Liliana hits a zombie and a creeping chill, they lose. Zombie and chill. I do what I value more Ugh. We got a zombie, but no chill. Alright, we still have this chill though. Alright. Looks like chill's gonna get it done yet again. Man, creeping chill just MVP. It just always wins. Always get our opponent to three. Exactly three. And then Creeping Jill takes it down. What a card. And then we side it out. Um, yeah. Cry of the Carnarium is very scary. That's very rude. Our opponent has main deck Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, the opponent knew about the ch the chill. They saw the chill with Thought Erasure before. Do I want Eldest Reborn or Third Creeping Chill? I think I want Eldest Reborn. Angrath for Bolas isn't very good. But they still get a 4-4. Four four. So it's like they play a 4-4, four four, they make me discard a card. And then I play a Spyglass just to keep it from flipping, but then the 4-4 four four just kills me. Yeah, opponent's gonna have a lot of a lot of removal spells for sure. Be kind of interesting to see if they have Thief of Sanity. I don't think they should, but it seems like every single person brings in Thief of Sanity every single matchup. But they're probably gonna keep all their Cry of the Carnariums and Rituals so that they have Thief of Sanities too for some reason. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe our opponent won't. But it's pretty rare. Seems to be pretty rare playing against somebody without Thief. <laughs> Called it. Alright, would I rather have Reaper or Death Baron in play? Play Reaper. Block. <laughs> Mill over my Creeping Chills, opponent. Do it. Mill over Creeping Chill. Creeping Chill. Creeping Chill. Creeping Chill. Dang, no chill. <laughs> it took my duress. Nice. So they didn't play a land?
I'd rather have Contempt for Bolas, honestly. Both I'm not playing a land. I have two chills still in the deck. So they're not they're not all out. Oh, that's rude. I like keeping this land in hand in case my opponent does play a bolus, we get to discard this land and not discard the Death Baron. Yeah, their deck is so anti-aggro here. It'd be really nice to draw Liliana. Yeah, they got Moment of Cravings and Carnivals and Cry of the Carnariums. Good job, TRZ. You went 5 1 with Quasi Dupla Ooze. Nice. Yes, I like Arena better than Magic Online. Hmm. That would have been a reason to keep that land in hand. Okay, okay. Liliana's good. Care to meet my backup? <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. So I I could like minus their nickel bolus then attack with both of these, like give make the nickel bolus a two two. <clears throat> but I like making sure that Liliana can't just die to a bolus attack. Going up to the five loyalty. If our opponent does attack with Nickel Bolas, then we have like these creatures that attack him. Mm, you failed to entertain me. Dang, that is. Uh, that's horrible. Really wanted to untap with Liliana. That was certainly the best card our, our opponent could possibly have. Was that Contempt. Never seen if, if they just sit back, if they don't attack Liliana, I get to minus three and play like a bunch of freedom. zombies or may even just keep ticking up. Well, the minus X minus X only does minus two minus two. And so it wouldn't kill Bolas. If we attacked first and had them block with Bolas, it would only do minus one, minus one, so it still wouldn't kill Bolas. So basically, if I minus, I just attack for four, they just take it, and no then their Bolas fire. kills. No the Bolas would kill Liliana. Bodies in Graveyard doesn't matter. It's how many bodies you have in play. So we had two creatures in play, so it would be minus two, minus two. Hey, what's up, Sothian? Happy Friday night. Bleh. All right, see if we can get this last game on the play. Their deck is certainly very anti-aggro. I think I want these chills more on the play. Chill seems pretty sweet. Yeah, we don't need no Bloodfast. Eh, Bloodfast is probably pretty good. Maybe a Death Baron? Eh, Death Baron good. Hmm. 
maybe just three chill. What about three chill? Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of chill enablers, but uh, being on the play here, I kind of expect to get our opponent down in life, and maybe we can just, you know, hard cast creeping chill, which we've done a couple of times. Liliana is the best card in the deck. Taking out Liliana ever is a huge mistake. I would play, like, six or seven Lilianas if I could. Instead of, like, the chills, I would just have more Lilianas if we could. There is no way I would ever go down to three Lilianas, especially against a control deck. Not, not possible. So are they going to have... Are they going to be rude and have Cry of the Carnarium? I sure hope not. Sure hope no Cry of the Carnarium. Like, Ritual of Soot's fine. It's anything but Cry. Hooray! Hooray! No Cry! Alright, drawing a card here. I really want to hit lands. That's not a land. Do we just not have lands in this deck? The heck. Yeah, missing land three and land four. You know, playing a Liliana. Yeah, we're on the play, of course, so that was our fifth turn. But yeah, having a Liliana out earlier would have been nice. Play this and Graveyard Marshal. Wow. Usually on his third ability, sometimes, not like super often, but definitely sometimes. Just mono moment of craving, Vrasa's Contempt, Cry of the Carnarium. <laughs> Alright, can we please draw this next land so I get to Liliana? Come on, deck. Yeah, they have this Escanta though that's that's going. Like they're gonna find their their good cards and stuff, find like Bolus and everything pretty quickly because of Ascanta. Can we please get fourth land? Please land, please. Hooray! Go, Lils, go! Go get him! Get him! Well, they aren't useful to me alive. Chill. So we didn't hit a zombie, so we don't 
don't get the the other two. We don't get the extra two. But at least we got the three for the chill. Oh, well, this is the worst card we could see. That was the card we did not want them to find. Don't get squeamish on me. So if they draw a land, they can coil plus activate as Kanto. They can't do that with Cry. No, Gomez, we're very good against control. That's our that's our good matchup. Last time we played this we were five oaks, we played against Esper Control three times and Gates once. The Gates was a little tougher, they had five sweepers. If it's a fight you want. They played they had all four get. Gates of Blaze and a Clarion, but we still won that game. One person's trash. No, both are contempts. Army. Uh, both are contempts. They found that one bolus right in time. They found that bolus right in time. That was interesting. I have two chills left in the deck, two Liliana's left in the deck. As reach. It's looking like my opponent wants to activate the Nickel Bolas. They're like looking at cards to get back. If if I'm my opponent, I'm activating Nickel Bolas. Okay, that's, yeah. All right, we can get them down to one. I don't think we really need to draw Gutter Bones. I'm going to draw with Bloodfast instead. You know, we could spend two mana to put Gutter Bones back in my hand, but I'd rather get a random card because we want to find Liliana or Chill. Boom! Mono Black Zombies, getting it done. Creeping Chill, still MVP. I mean, Liliana's MVP. Creeping Chill, co MVP. We are 2 0. Oh, there you go. Fix the link from earlier. Uh, likely playing Battle Mint next. Because we got uh, Sway Cryos in here now. So I think we're going to be playing Battle Mint up next. And then Grixis Discard. Because, the you know, we're waiting on the donation deck for him to get in here. This is a donation deck. And we'll figure out what we want to do. All right, I like this one. 
I wish we didn't have that chill in hand. I wish we could mill over the chills, but uh, Death Baron makes supplier better. We got drill bit on two. We can get a chill. Nope. Ooh. That's interesting. Let's see what we got going on over here. Eldest Reborn Vivian? Are you kidding me? Please get another land for this Death Baron, please. We've milled over three lands right now. It's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a good card to draw. Land! No. We'll bring back the bones. Because next turn we can, even if we don't draw land, we can bones and bit. And we have like a lot of, I don't know, like potential like TV show kind of things in this deck. We have Liliana and Chill, and now we have bones and bit. So, Death Baron, of course, is kind of like my best thing to do, but I think I just should bit away the reed. Let's get that thing out of here. Op is down to 12. That's getting kind of low. Getting into creeping chill territory. <laughs> the seats are filling up for the battlement party bus. Boom, boom, boom. Down to five. All right, relic seekers in there. Prepare the gallows. Wait. <laughs> you won't be needing that. So if we draw a land, they die. We drew the land, they die. The best dino deck uh, that I have is the Gruel Dinos. You can find the link in here. We're going to be playing that again tomorrow. Joyf has a donation for it. It's Joyf's deck. Good old Creeping Chill. You're at three? Lose three. Man. I don't know if that'll ever get old. Just having bolts in our mono black deck mono black bolts <clears throat> so are we actually going to beat the wow growth walker deck potentially no we could certainly lose games two and three here no it's tomorrow tomorrow night last spot Gruel Dinos. That was when it was donated for. So, I guess I need cra cast downs. Got to be able to kill the Wakas. Waka Wakas. Ritualists that may honestly not be that bad here. Yeah, the sub battle countdown. We got 159 to go. We got to keep on getting those subs. If you're enjoying the stream... And would like to get a lot of awesome emotes and um, take part of the sub battle day. Consider hitting that sub button. You think it's time to set up? It's probably time to set up. If we set up, we're taking out chill and supplier. I guess I still got three slots. We can still get three chills. All right, let's sit up. Liliana can finish it out for us.
We got Andrew Scott R with that Twitch Prime sub. Number 11 on the day. Everybody get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much, Andrew. Hope you're going to enjoy those emotes. They are awesome. Especially those hype boats. All right, 158. Countdown's going down. So, let's see. You like this hand? I kind of don't mind this hand, honestly. Like, with, our, with the opponent going to six and everything. Because I think we can kind of, like... Like, they're going to have, like, all their, like... You know, creature destroy spells. Their removal spells and all that kind of stuff. We only got 22 lands. There's only 18 more out of 53. So we're looking at 35 spells, 18 lands. Basically double the amount of spells, so... Should be drawing two spells for every land. Oh yeah, hands coming together. No wild growth walker. Love it. Hand is coming together. We got drill bit on three. We got soot on four or Liliana on four. Let's do this. Gotta take their planeswalker. Tender shoot dryad? Huh. So do I take the Contempt? And then I have my Contempt for Vi for their Vivian? Yeah, I guess I take the Contempt. Battle Bus makes it the final boss. We, pl we play the Vanga Bus song. Sure, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got Ooh. planned for you. Love it. Tick up, lose five. That's a lot of life. And we gain five. So just drain five for a tick up. That's pretty good. I do must think future. Yeah, lava acts with lifelink for a tick up. Into the grave with you. Hmm. How scared do I need to be of this Vivian Reed, basically? Contempt Vivian. Maybe I should just cast the chill. No, I want to be able to contempt Vivian and untap and use Liliana's minus. Or just sit. I'd like to draw one other cheap zombie. So we can play we can play a second zombie and then minus minus two. That was a cheap shot. What's our opponent doing? Why would they not play Vivian here? I don't really have a reason not to play Vivian there. We'll get rid of that. I 
We, of course, don't know what their last card is in hand. I value moral flexibility. Okay, so yeah, so they want to have double moment of craving. Oh, I meant to activate that. Crap. I was just talking, and obviously I meant to make a 2-2 zombie. All right, so can we kill them before this Vivian Beasts ultimate? Are much more reliable than humans. Balance the 2-2 zombie does come into play tapped, so like I wouldn't have been able to block to protect Liliana, but it could have at least attacked my opponents of Vivian. Dang, I certainly wanted that zombie though. Don't get cocky. <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. Dang, that would have been nice to have that two two. To be able to help block here. Hey, what's up, Dink? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Mind broker. So Vivian's just gonna ultimate now. I didn't have like that two two to pressure Vivian. That's just I lose a life, right? They don't gain any life, right? Yes, good. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this. There's no reason to keep this find broker. Why would you keep that find broker? Enough! You don't even have anything for that find broker to find broker to grab into the grave with you <laughs> hmm we need one more swap before our stronghold starts generating any mana We did mill over our other contempt, so I'm just not going to be able to Meet deal with this Vivian at all. Friend. I think the the biggest thing that I regret this whole time. Because I think I should have just taken their, the Vivian with the drill bit. Let them have contempt. Let them contempt one Liliana because I have the backup Liliana. All four of these creatures are just going to die. So I'll lose four life. Draw two. We beat a Vivian ultimate. <laughs> 
Can we beat a Vivian Ultimate? Five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't do a whole lot. It just turns this three. It just basically kills the three two. All we do is kill a three two because it turns the three two into a one one. I may need to just get a whole lot of creatures. I don't have a lot of one mana creatures though. They're in my hand. No, let's we're gonna go and sit. Well they aren't useful to me alive. Yeah, we did learn that we don't want Soot Nature in this matchup. Brings your reckoning. We, will, we will be sideboarding that back out. That was a good good lesson learned. You know, we thought our opponent was like a... Mer you know, we thought they were a, a wild growth walker deck and everything. Uh, obviously, with what's happening here, they are not. This was boring anyway. Well, all their creatures have Vigilance and Indestructible. Ugh. So playing Liliana, we get... Um, so Liliana minus, we'd have five mana. Just gonna have to get really lucky on the tick up. Let's have some fun. The the creatures just don't do very much. One person's trash is another woman's army. Well, that was terrible for us. I was not getting lucky on the tick up. All right, so ritual set gone, which means. Get this other chill in here. Get Eldest Reborn. Or Duress. Yeah, I guess we were out of chills. I kind of feel like Vivian Ultimate may be like the only thing that gets us. I definitely don't want Eldest Reborn against a Saperling deck. Give me a break. All right, we'll take play a duress. See, either a duress or a supplier. I'll take the duress. I could have spyglass for Vivian, I suppose. Spyglass isn't the worst here. Come on, deck, not like this. Not like this. Okay, we need your help. All right, this can win. Oh, there you go, Hawkeye. Get you on the screen. Gotta get your luck. Two one branch walker is the best branch walker for them, because the two one trades just like the three two would. They get to draw that card. 
th them drawing extra cards when we're already on five is pretty tough. So we're going to trade Midnight Reaper here. Hope to draw a land to be able to Liliana. We did see them have a bunch of moment of cravings, too. That was a killer. Last game. What? Don't get squeamish on me. Please do not have contempt. Please no contempt. Oh, we're on five cards. We don't have very much. We're the twelve hour stream's going from noon to midnight. Eastern Standard Time. It's 8.15 right now, so we're 8 hours, 15 minutes in. Nope, just play some creature. There you go. Play some random creature. I don't really care what. So just be casting one Midnight Reaper. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. Alright, choop. Tender shoot. I, mean, I think I've just taken tender shoot. It's the car that can win. Um, oh, thank you, Emmanuel. I appreciate you watching. Yeah, our, our uptime is kind of messed up, though, with this one, because we had to disconnect earlier. So still the only zombies are three drops. I dare you to try that again. Well, they aren't useful to me alive. So like the minus three for Liliana doesn't help a ton. This only getting one spell. Uh, now we have a couple two drops, so I guess we could get double Graveyard Marshal with a minus three. But I think that's just you know ticking up and trying to find creeping chills, trying to drain, finish the opponent off. Can we win this on a mold of five, Hawkeye? Can we do it? All right, that's not a Vrassus Contempt. That's good. It's not a Contempt. Yeah, if, if Liliana mills over a zombie and a chill, that'll be five, and then we get to cast the chill, and that's the extra three. So that's, that's the goal. Liliana tick up. And have out of the three cards have a zombie and a creeping chill. Uh, uh, typical. One person's trash right, is another a zombie. woman's army. So if my opponent plays Chupacabra, they do get to kill Liliana. I can attack for two and put them down to one. But then they get an easy attack on Liliana. I don't think I like making an easy attack on Liliana. Because if they Chup and then they attack all out at Liliana, then I have all this coming back at him. So this incentivizes my opponent with all this all this stuff, it kinda incentivizes them to stay back. 
But if they sit back, then Liliana's gonna take over. <clears throat> so yeah, so they're going Dryad. So now we can double chump. Keep Liliana alive and have Liliana kill the opponent. Alright, well, I guess we don't need a double chump. We can just single chump. How dare you! Alright, Liliana, finish this off for us. Find a chill. We just need to find one more chill. Oh, there's a chill. Unfortunately, that's going to take us another turn. Maybe we'll get another chill here. Don't get squeamish on me. Not a chill. We can force their tender shoot dryad to block. No blocks, Hawkeye. You know what that means. We are playing zombies and chill. And just like all the other games, finish it off with lightning helix to the face. Upstairs. Boom. We are 3 0, Hawkeye. What is up? We were 5 0 last stream with this deck. Let's keep dodging red decks. We don't want to play red decks. Keep dodging the red decks. No, we. The last. Last match we played, we beat uh, Grixis, anti-aggro Grixis, with like main deck Cry of the Carnarium, and a whole lot of moment of cravings and stuff. And our first match, I don't remember what we beat. That was a mold of five there, though. I thought we were going to lose that one. Alright, so this hand's kind of whatever. Our mulligans can get really rough, though, on our 22 land deck. Esper. So good news is it's Esper. Bad news is our hand is very, very bleh. So we need to draw Liliana's, like always. Liliana, right here. Okay, I should have mulliganed. If I knew our next three draws were going to be land, land, chill. Would have definitely mulliganed. They don't have lands. That's good for us. So we have 16 lands left in the deck out of the 48. So we want to just keep on drawing spells. Or not. They kept that card on top pretty quickly. Must have been a land for their Teferi. Or it wasn't.
All right, we found Liliana. Found Liliana. Go, Lily, go. And I have mastered death. Give me this back, and this back. And suddenly we have a battlefield. We didn't really play Team of Vanifar. We were in game three of the first round and computer suddenly restarted. So got disconnected, all that, you know, like, so timed out, of course. I value and moral just decided to go on to a different deck. Do I play Gutter Bones also? Yeah, might as well. That's already two Kaya's Wraths that they've been through. Yeah, the minus three is her ultimate. I suppose. Yeah, that's a pretty ultimate ability, being able to Get a bunch of things back. So they have not had Teferi. That's good. No Teferi. No card advantage. Yeah, so no card advantage. No no search rose canta, no Teferi, as long as they keep stop keep not having those things. No. Boo. If you show remorse. You know what? I'm not done yet. All right, I'm going to get rid of the Death Baron and a Reaper. Do I get a ghoul? What else we got in here? Get rid of a ghoul. We have enough mana. We can cast like the the two reapers and everything. Even one removal spell. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> Wait till you see uh, three lands land for you. Okay. Wish I would have supplied first. So that's the third one of those. No, don't contempt. Okay, yeah, no, they don't have the mana for contempt. All right, so they're going to have a counter spell. <laughs> Seriously, three lands again? Deliciously morbid idea. I really, I really wanted to hit something here so I could gutter bones. Gosh, that was rough. So that's three, six. So that's six lands. Seven, eight, nine. We have nine lands in the graveyard, plus ten on the battlefield. So there's three lands left in the deck. Yeah, we have ten on the battlefield, nine in the graveyard. There's twenty-two in the deck. Graves. 
All right, I want you. Suddenly we had we had zero cards in hand and suddenly we have like infinite cards in hand. Oh, they countered it? Well I can just recast it. Let me counter it again. Nope. Alright, so I want you and I want you. And we'll just get this diagraph ghoul as well. I do not want suppliers anymore. I don't want to mill myself out. They've used three Kaya's Rats already. Yes, Gutter Bones is much, 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 much better than Reassembling Skeleton. Not particularly close. Into the grave with you. I guess they could technically have Settle the Wreckage. Technically. I'm at 18. Hey, what's up, Vraska? Thank you so much for that tier one sub. Resub for the third month. Let's keep that hype in the chat going. And our sub battle countdown getting ever farther down. We're at 157 now. chills have we seen so far? We've seen two, right? Yeah, we saw those two at the very beginning. So there's two chills left in the deck out of 18 cards. Moment of Craving, Cast Down, to Fairy. Just take the Moment of Craving. They're at 11. So they cast down a Midnight Reaper. They take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then all we got to do is find, like, a, like, they're pretty close to dying to a Creeping Chill here. We get to draw 2, plus we're milling another 3. Oh, they are thinking about taking this. That'd be such a greedy take. You can't take this. Wow, they took it. All right, zombie or a chill? Zombie or chill? One That's a zombie. Is another woman's zombie or chill? Either one. Dude, Liliana won that game for us. Yeah, like we got to minus three twice. Play a whole lot of. Zombies from our graveyard twice. Alright, so in this matchup, we're bringing in Duress, Bloodfast. It's getting a little choppy. I'm going to have to reset this. Duress, Bloodfast, Spyglass, and Reborn, and Cut, Chill, and Supplier. Unfortunately, we are cutting Chill here. 
I'm very worried about, or I have the extra Elder Shaborn coming in because of Lyra. Lyra's the, like the one card that we can't really beat. Straight and narrow. The normal times. Yeah, the graveyard marshals and and blood barons are rares, or not blood barons, whatever they're called, death barons. It's about time for me to get a haircut again. <laughs> yeah, now you get why well, I would have six Liliana in there if I could. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a card I'm sideboarding out ever. Liliana did just win that game by itself, and Liliana is our best card here in these in these longer matchups for sure. Ugh. Oh, very happy with the four drill bit. Drill bit is is clutch. It's made this deck pretty good. Like it. It is clutch. Uh, I don't think I can just keep this one lander, though, right? I mean, if we draw a land, the hand's awesome. You know, I love having Duress, Gutter Bones. You know, like, I love those cards. Spike Glass means the Teferi does nothing ever. I mean, our hand's awesome. We just don't have lands. We do have two playables, and we are on the draw. I guess I could maybe keep... Maybe keep, I suppose. But let's say I go turn one gutter bones. They have turn two thought erasure. They like take my duress, and then I'm just just doing nothing but attacking with gutter bones. What we do against frenzy? I don't. It's a our opponent's not playing frenzy. They're playing Esper. Yeah, we have two draws to get a land, but we really want a third land drop. So we have like three draws to get two lands. We'll give it a try. Ugh. No, I don't, I don't want to turn one to rest. I, I want to get pressure out on the battlefield first. See if they have Mortify or not. Unmoored Ego? What? Guess they're naming Liliana? I hope they named Creeping Chill. Guess they're naming Liliana, though. So that's just... They just went three mana, discard a card. G Fizzle Joe with a tier one sub. Let's get some hype in the chat for our sub. Thank you so much for that subscription. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, I'm glad they're just discarding a card and spending three mana. That was nice of them. Should be easier to draw lands now, potentially. We got four other spells out of the deck. There's a land. Donifope? Well, I've never beaten that card. Might as well take it. We're just gonna be spyglassing like later. Like, we don't need a spyglass right away. Spyglass doesn't affect the, the game until later. It shuts down part of Dawn of Hope. But I'd rather use it for something else. I'd rather use it for the Escanta. 
All right, might as well draw cards while we can, while my opponent's not mortifying my blood fast. Yeah, Spyglass makes Planeswalker useless. So I have Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, and Ascanta, the Sunken Ruin, as two things that I would like to Spyglass, but I can only choose one. Usually it's just Teferi all day, but with them already having Ascanta out, you know, not that far away from flipping Ascanta, Ascanta can certainly bury us. So Mortify kills Bloodfast. Contempt I don't have to worry about too much, but Contempt does get rid of the Reaper for good. Not too worried about Thief right now. Hey, what's what's up, GM? And if my opponent's going to get rid of Reaper, I'd rather them get rid of it with Mortify than... with... Hmm. They're just going to kill the Reaper. What do I want to do with my turn? Spyglass and draw two? Or Death Baron, Death Baron? Many death barons. Another mortify. That's annoying. Our opponent should not have flipped that. I, I did name Ascanta the Sunken Ruin. Should have just kept the Search for Ascanta there. But this does let them double spell, though, with, like, the Thief plus Mortify this turn. It does make their turn better. It's just they don't get to control their draw step as much. Double Thief. Double Thief. Interesting. We're going to be killing our opponent a little faster than they're killing us. Oh, I, d I don't have any of the creeping chills in my deck right now, unfortunately. Yeah, we have zero creeping chills. We don't really have any good cards for our opponent to hit with Thief. Like, what can they get? Like, Midnight Reaper? 
Like, there's no Liliana's left, but I don't even know if that's a good hit. It's like, what do you want to do with this thief? You can get a discard spell? I mean, I guess I have two contempts. Yeah, I guess there's two contempts in the deck, but... Wow, they took something over contempt? They must have hit both contempts there. There's, there's literally nothing better than contempt in my deck. So that must have been the two contempts. So we know opponent has a contempt and a mortify, and then two other cards. You know, one of theirs, one of one of mine. They got three hands. So they'll Mortify one Death Baron, the Midnight Reaper trades with another, they go down to five. They get to draw another card. Or they go down to four. Or sorry, uh, six. They go down to six. We assume they have a Contempt. I don't know if I've... Like, I don't remember the last time I played against a blue-black based opponent, whether it's Grixis, Asper, or anybody, and they don't board in Thief of Sanity. Like, is that... Has that ever happened? Has anybody ever played against somebody that has not boarded in Thief of Sanity? Like, we're like this this aggro deck with all these, like, like expecting this thief to, like, outrace me or something? And, yeah, so that that's why I went to nine last turn, so we can flip the blood fast. I guess I haven't played mono red, so maybe they don't board it in there, but who knows. Thieves are gone. Got my gutter bones. Hmm. So that was my fault. I really should not have played both Graveyard Marshals. That was just bad. I had an extra mana. I could have just played one Graveyard Marshal and had the activation up. That was That was just really bad by me. So I, I messed that up. That was my fault. Do I think zombies will be a thing again in war? I don't know. I don't know if they're really a thing now. Probably not really a thing. Spyglass just seems kind of unnecessary every time. We did shut down the Azkanta, but I don't know. I don't like it on the draw. I'm in Eastern Time Zone. It is 9 o'clock at night. I want more chills. Chills are great. Especially on the play. All right, King Toll, have a good night. All right, this is a keep. Go, gutter bones, go. We can certainly lose this game. Attack. What 
are you doing here? Thief, double Kaya's Wrath? You're going to play your Thief and then Kaya's Wraths? So... Take one of the Wraths. Could take a Mortify or a Thief, because they, they were basically both just like destroy a creature kind of thing. Because like my creatures are just like 2-2, two -two, so like blocking with Thief or using a Mortify is like the same thing. Fortunately, my Death Barons are just not good here. I'll just take the Thief for the late game. Taking it all. Unfortunately, we didn't get the. You know, we weren't able to play a Midnight Reaper here. That would have been nice. Yeah, these are all. These are. These are all tap land, so they may need, like, a shock land. For Mortify, or maybe they don't have a fourth land. At all. Okay, so they have the tap land, so they're going to have to mortify something here. Really hope we draw a land so we get to Reaper, and basically use Reaper as a draw three. Game's not over, we're just attacking them down to four. They're going to have Kaya's Wrath the next two turns. Oh my gosh. Cry of the Carnarium? Why would they just sit there? And what were they doing? They took such a long turn to have the best possible card you could have in the entire format. They're certainly looking a lot better for us before that cry of the Carnarium. have, what do I have, two Creeping Chills in the deck? Our opponent's likely on Absorb here. I think like they'll they'll probably have land Kaya's Wrath with Absorb back up. Or just, do they just have no land? Do they just have seven spells in hand? That would be bad for me. Okay. Yes, Graveyard Marshals are like double spells. We could cast two Graveyard Marshals. 
but, you know, they're just playing them into the Kaiser out there. So Thiva Sandy hitting Creeping Chill would be nice. They may have hit three lands. What you want? Taking contempt. So obviously we can attack, they block with Midnight Reaper, they draw a card. But no real reason to have them draw that card uh, right now and have, you know, have that other card immediately right now. Like, they're just going to be able to do that the next turn as well. So, you know, like, I don't need to give them the, that card immediately here. All right, so they're saying I'm going to Kaya's Wrath you. So do I block... And let them draw or not probably not I guess they they're gonna draw two though but they lose two so now them drawing two a Liliana can also deal two they get the extra card but Liliana could kill them or <clears throat> creeping chill Oh, right, they gained two from Kaya's Wrath. Dang, I forgot about that part. Okay, I wish I would have just blocked. Forgot about that part of them gaining life with Kaya's Wrath. Why is that text even on Kaya's Wrath? It's already a four mana Wrath. Does it need to help help them gain life? Card's already strong enough. Doesn't need that text. So I have seven mana right now. I have enough to make two <clears throat> enough to make two zombies. Thief MVP. I think this is all because they they drew that cry of the Carnarium earlier. The only reason why I put our opponents in this was because of that cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, look at their thief. They get to just play it, take one of my cards, and then have it die. or nah. So 
Stupid Kaiserath life gain. And Moment Craving life gain. Absorb life gain. So they've played three Kai's Wraths, one Cry of the Carnarium. Ugh. Contempt life gain. They're sitting on the gate, unfortunately. We're at three. Dying to the Midnight Reaper. Tough loss there. Tough loss. Definitely thought we had that game three uh, before that Cry of the Carnarium. Even with us getting stuck on two lands for so long. That's all right. We're three and one. Not a good one. Getting rid of the supplier because we already have a one drop. It wouldn't necessarily be so bad. But we already have a one drop. So this Esper yet again. We do seem to play against basically only Esper with this deck. In the, f the five matches we played last time and the five matches we've played this time, this is our sixth time to play Esper now. I mean, well, Liliana is our most important card. You saw there, like, those games that we lost, we didn't have Liliana. That's our most important card. Hmm. Definitely thought about playing Diagraph Ghoul, but didn't really want to play into Absorb and let them like gain the three life. But Diagraph Ghoul would let us even if it gets countered, use the Graveyard Marshal still. But yeah, obviously Wrath Effects are good against a creature deck. Like, that's... It's just a... Obviously they're good. Just another absorbent of Teferi, not a not a wrath. So hopefully no wrath. That's not a wrath. They do not have the mana to activate Escanta and cast anything except for Cry of the Carnarium. I'm known for my excellent that won't do timing. it. They have to tuck. You they only have two time out. 
mana up. We get to play the Death Baron. Pump these up. Three power. Boom. Okay, so let's see. Let's get all these dresses in. Bloodfast. Cut supplier. Two chill. An Eldritch Reborn in instead of another chill on the draw. I think I'm kind of off the spyglass. I'm not even sure if I really like the Eldritch Reborn. I think I should probably just have like more con two more contempts in the sideboard instead of Elshi Born. No, Chill's not really that bad against Esper. We just need to keep all of our creatures in though. It's either Chill or Reborn. Maybe we'll just keep in two Chills. Yeah, we'll just do that. I don't think I can cut a land on the draw. You know, like I've said many times, Liliana's our most import important card. We need to hit four land drops. We're only we only have twenty two. It's a lot like that other one lander. I'm going down to six. We got our two draws to get our second land here. And be able to cast Duress plus Drill Bit on turn two. Alright, well, I'm, I think I'm leading with Drill Bit because we know it's turned on. No, I'm just leading with Duress. Well, Cry is better against me. But it's going to be easier for them to cast Mortify. I'm, I'm just taking Cry. Hmm. They're willing to shock in for Mortify. Definitely taking this Hostage Shaker. So thanks for taking the two first. Um. Hmm. Not too surprising, them not hitting a land drop there. In case they drew a counter spell. Our opponent still has a lot of really good draws, of course. We're not really that far ahead here. Because I've, like, you know, I, I did throw away my blood fast because I wasn't sure if we'd ever get the fourth land to be able to have contempt. Where's Liliana? 
Lily. I need you. I need you, Lily. Oh, now we're flooding out. Lily. Go, Lily, go. You can I value more. At least we got rid of two lands. The minus three wasn't you know, I have just the graveyard graveyard marshal and death baron. I can no longer stand by and watch. We need to move quickly. Well, they aren't useful to me alive. That didn't go according to plan. I guess I should technically be casting that upkeep. All right, Kaya takes my. I like a good fight. Uh, Notice I didn't say fair. Kaya is like the anti Liliana. Can take my two creatures. I have three creatures. Hi. They took one creature. Interesting. They left me Death Baron? Left me both Death Barons? Hmm. Ah, I feel like my old self again. Am I dematerializing? Huh. Boom! Four and one! The zombies is good against Esper, even though we lost last time, but... We're now five and one against spe uh, specifically Esper in the last two leagues. Alright, and final boss time. Hopefully another Esper deck. Alright, let's get ready. Get your final boss emotes in the chat. Here we go. No red decks. We do not want to see red. We want to see Esper, not red. All right, four and one. We either lose and we go 4-2, or we win and we get another 5-win league and go 5-1. No, we do not need a mono-red matchup. No, we'll just die. We do not want to play against mono-red. I'll just be us dying. That'll be bad. Ooh, can't even get matched up against anybody. Okay, there it goes. Matched up. I was going to cancel and reset because it is getting kind of choppy. <laughs> Sorry, Bach. All right, pretty decent hand. Water Grave. No, Cinder Barons. I don't see that. That's a red. A red land. Dun, 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 dun. Best deck against Mono Blue. I. Let's see. What did we play earlier? That Quasi Dupla Ooze deck, especially after sideboard. Looked really strong against 
mono blue, but basically a lot of like green creature decks with a bunch of harpooners in your sideboard. Just yeah, a green creature deck with a lot of harpooners. That's good against mono blue. I don't maybe I don't even trade there. Because I have the Death Baron next turn. That's actually just a bad attack by me. I think about it. Because we're just gonna have like Death Baron next turn. Yeah, that's a bad attack. Alright, I'd like to draw Liliana Untouched by Death. Oh, blocking? Love that block. Love it. Do we have them gain three life to get a 2 1 first strike off the battlefield? Yes, please. A best of one day? No, I don't really like the best of one format. Just so much variance with, like, do you, do you win the die roll and curve out or no? Don't like it. It's not for me. Really glad our opponent blocked with that. Uh, Starfleet Daredevil a little bit ago. Ugh. Gatsby with, for the 12 hour hype. Thanks Gatsby. Everybody looks at some hype in the chat for Gatsby. With that big time cheer. Where's my cheers emotes? There we go. Thank you. All right, we'll see if we mill over some more creeping chills. Not a creeping chill. I think if we if we so we could try attacking with both to be able to deal two and put gutter bones back in our hand and play gutter bones, but it's pretty likely that they have just some kind of removal spell. You know, them having the four mana didn't play anything. They didn't play a land. Didn't play a spell. Just very likely they just have a removal spell. We scryed a supplier to the bottom, right? No, that was that was last match. All right, so we'll daredevil away a chill. They're getting that wall of first strikes up. It's hard to break through the wall of first strikes. We need Liliana, untouched by death. Does this deck have any really rough matchups? Yeah, mono red, mono red aggro. It was really tough and like Chain Whirler, pretty tough. Chill, 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 dang it. So I can sack two Dire Fleet Diagraph Ghouls to get one damage in and put a Gutter Bones into play. So basically, basically sacrificing a Ghoul to deal one damage. It's probably not worth it. But who knows, if we find the other chills, three chills can deal nine. But obviously they could just have like contempt. Dang, I'm just never getting through. Where's Liliana at? We haven't seen one yet, we're 20 cards deep. Still haven't seen one yet. Right, like yeah, we didn't mill one over or anything. The suppliers will... There's not really a reason to attack with supplier. Like, it can do some blocking to help us stay alive and everything. There's just not... There's no incentive. We'll sacrifice it here. There's no incentive just to throw it away just to mill three. Because it just makes my opponent's attacks better and that kind of stuff. No, there's a Liliana. No. I need that card. But now Demanding Dragon obviously makes my Liliana worse. Hmm. No blocks.
Oh wait, I'm taking lethal. I'm done. Lily, where are you? We need more Lily. All right, let's get reborn. Definitely want cast downs. Like them playing Demanding Dragon, Chain Whirler. A lot of good things to cast down. Supplier just dying to the Chain Whirlers and everything. That can just go. And I guess this is what I'm going with. I don't think I want Ritual of Soot. I don't think we need Duress. Just go with this. No, Plague Mare is a horse. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Uh. All down to five we go. I guess. If the card's not Liliana, I'm not keeping it. Not Liliana, not keeping it. Just like last time, we won a mold of five, but because of Liliana, we need, like, winning on a mold of five, that's, it's gotta be Liliana. Yeah, Chain Whirler being a first strike creature. Daredevil being a first strike creature. All those first strike creatures are pretty rough for us. Red's difficult. Wow, they kept a one lander. Double Daredevil. Lava Coil, Shock, and Grath. I just can't beat these cards, to be honest. Basically, Liliana is the only thing that can help me win. I guess I take the coil. No, thing like Midnight Reaper. I should probably just take like Phoenix or Angrath. I guess I take coil. Yeah, because they're probably going to draw land. So I should probably just take Phoenix or Angrath. Honestly, this game's not ending anytime soon. Coil would be like, Coil makes Midnight Reaper a worse draw. If I take Coil, then Midnight Reaper basically gets to cycle. You know, can get shocked or you know, blocked by Daredevil. Oh, come on, where's Liliana, please? We could do this. No land, pass, pass, pass. <laughs> uh, all the lands. Pass. Go to discard. Just throw a shock at my face. Mm. It's incredible. We're playing 22 lands. And we have eight of them already. It's going to be a lot easier for the opponent to win, though. It's going to be a lot easier for the opponent to win this. The old adage is mana screw beats mana flood because when you start drawing a couple spells or they start drawing a couple lands, they, they'll they have a lot more cards. <gasps> Wait, we can do it now. We can do it. We drew the one card in our deck. We drew the real card. Immortality is worth any. <laughs> I have a Milled over two lands idea. and a chill. It's a good mill. So that's 11 lands. So there's only 11 lands left in the deck. We're halfway through. 11 out of 15.
Dream still alive. Don't get squeamish on me. We gotta add some mana. Eight mana. It, there was no difference, Yud. Using Cabal Stronghold to cast Liliana or cast Liliana was the same. It still still tap four lands. Doesn't doesn't do anything different. All right, we'll take the chill. So I only have one creature, one zombie to cast. Because remember, I can't cast that. So I only have one zombie right now to cast. Into the grave with you. Oh, that's a that's a great mill. Now we actually need the extra mana because we can get both these gutter bones back. And we're draining. Draining all the way down to seven. Oh, don't chain whirler me. Tilt. That was a cheap shot. That was a cheap shot, I agree. So I have a Death Baron and a Marshal. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. Uh, we did not did not hit anything to be able. You know, we didn't make them lose life, so we didn't get the gutter bones back. All right, they're in it now. They get. They can. Yeah, they're gonna Daredevil cast down. Kill the Death Baron. But now we have two Death Barons and a Graveyard Marshal that we could cast next turn. With Liliana. Enough! Or I can simply just tick up again. So we have 13 mana. I could get graveyard, or I could get, yeah. Let's just minus three, basically. Rise! Oh, stop! Pop! All right, let's cast you. Let's cast you. Let's cast you. Let's cast you. Don't kill my Liliana with a Chain Whirler, please. Okay, I have it. I have. It looks like I have a bounty available to watch the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards trailer again, like we did before. So I think after this, after this match, before the Battleman one, we're gonna just take a couple minutes, watch the watch the trailer uh, for that sponsored content. And hope you all stick around um, with those there. Good financially for me. I value moral Make about as much as I do just in a normal day of streaming just for spending the five minutes on it. But I do need at least 500 people in here to make anything. And we got 720 right now. So hopefully just stick around. Please, after this, I'd appreciate that. Um, let's just go ahead and drill a bit. Ooh. 
cool. Thanks, y'all. So, it'll be real quick. Yeah, you can just keep the window open. You can mute it. Just keep the window open. That's all you got to do. You know, you can open a new tab if you want. Go get go get some popcorn. So, going to use Graveyard Marshal. Going to exile the Midnight Reaper. Going to make a zombie. I can use, next turn I can use Liliana's minus two. We don't have anything else good, do we? Oh, they have drill bit? This should be okay. So we can play, Liliana can kill the Chain Whirler, and then new Liliana can kill the Daredevil. And so they only have one blocker and we're gonna be attacking them for lethal. So this is going to be it. This is going to be game two. We're going to be going to game three here in just a minute. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play backup Lily. This one's a little overkill. I've conquered death, as I will conquer you. All right, we fought our way back. This is not. A, we think about all the cards they had in their hands. This is not a good matchup for us. Really, we just got to sit with Liliana for a while while they had one land. You know, like that's why we won this game. But, you know, Chain Whirlers and Daredevils and Phoenix and uh, Angrath and Siege Gang Commander. This is, is going to be really tough to actually win this game three. I don't like our chances. Yeah, so it's, def so it's definitely a maybe. No, just keep it. Okay, here we go. All right, we got our best card. Good curve, let's get some lands. Their land drops get to four. So annoying. Two one first striker. One more land. I should be double blocking. Thing is, if they just have a removal spell, it's just so bad. They likely have another daredevil here. Okay, we are gonna be able to play Lilian on time. Yeah, our opponent's pirate deck is getting us with pirates versus zombies. I 
I want a triple block. To have two instant speed removal spells. Hope they don't have two instant speed removal spells. Okay, good. Get that out of here. Hmm. Am I gonna wanna play Liliana next turn or drill bit? I guess I'm gonna wanna play Liliana. I do what needs to be done. One person's trash is another woman's army. Okay, can we get there? Uh, wow. uh, typical. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get. So sorry to give you a fright. Not eight. They are down to eight. So close. Are they gonna creeping chill me? <laughs> Alright, never mind. They're back up to 11, we're down to 10. What is more precious than life? <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. Oh, hey, Aaron. Yes, it did work. Thank you, Aaron. It shows, shows that you are a three-month subscriber now. No notification popped up. <laughs> I could call Ram. Hold. I'm going to mark it down on the sub-battle countdown. Ugh. We got one card left. Ugh. Deba four also getting in that Twitch Prime action. Let's get some more hype in the in the chat. Thank you so much, Debo. Welcome to the channel. Gets our countdown down to 154. Yeah, I've had all the daredevils, right? Yeah, it's all four of them. So if I if I minus three Liliana, Liliana of course is gone, but I get Death Baron plus Graveyard Marshal. Hmm. 
That's probably what I need to do. Gosh, I don't want to do that, though. I don't want to kill my Liliana. If I tick up, I can get, like, a new gutter bone, so I'm going to have to chomp. I should just have to do it. Witness my power. Yeah, I could... Baron plus double, double ghoul. But, I mean, I think Graveyard Marshal is the most important card, though. Because it can make new zombies and everything. It can, like, turn off... You know, it can keep giving... It can keep bringing gas. I really don't like having to get rid of the Liliana. So I just have Drill Bit as the only card there if they want to get Daredevil. They're likely going to get Chain Whirler. We went through our whole final boss playlist with this longer match. Now my Gutter Bones doesn't die. It's Chain Whirler. Now, if I, if I would have ticked up, Liliana was going to die. Glad we minus, but I really want to draw Liliana number three. Can we do that deck? Can we do that pretty please? Draw a land. Land. This wall of first strikes is so tough. Could use one of our cast downs or contempt. Ooh, that is bold. What you got over here? Doesn't seem like they drew a land if they're doing that attack. Wow. Oh, what a draw. That's game. That's game. Incredible. So I could have just chomped with the gutter bones. Guess maybe I should. I mean, I guess I should have just chomped with gutter bones. Man. So still, a four two is not bad. Uh, I talked about even you know before the league and you know even with that pairing that the mono red matchups are the hardest. For our deck, unfortunately. Where's Mono Black Zombies? Especially, you know, like those Chain Whirler decks. It's pretty tough. Unfortunate. So, did not defeat the final boss. 4-2 is still good Good gold profit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the deck was a lot of fun. And, you know, we uh, did real good against the Esper Control decks and everything. And deck's still fun. Liliana is awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah. Good league. But, yeah. Take the 4-2 every time. Yeah. Good deck for the opponent. So, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for